Hi guys, just a quick video. Uh, if any of you guys have installed a tubular stainless steel manifold, you'll notice that the uh, standard heat shield now no longer fits over that. And that exposes all the heat to your cam sensor, which is prone to failing. Now, at the time, I didn't have, uh, well, I didn't foresee this until afterwards. And basically, I wanted to get something to protect that. Now, I've seen on the internet that you can get uh, cam sensor heat shields, but I didn't have the time, I need to drive my car. So I was looking around uh, my, my garage to see what else uh, I could use. Because I did notice that there is a thread just there and that actually fits perfectly with an M8 screw. So, or bolt even. So I went around to look and made sure I had an M8 bolt, which I did and it fits in just nicely, which I'll show you now. So here's my M8. And screws in fine so what I want to do is I just wanted to make a quick DIY video uh, as I did find something that you can all easily make uh, to protect your camshaft and that's just using a simple angle bracket so I've got one of these doesn't have to look uh, perfect because in a day it's gonna be hidden underneath here and when you obviously you've got the, the casing that goes over the top of the engine you're not gonna see it at all anyway so basically I've drilled a hole next to where you normally get one in these angle brackets and that will line up perfectly like this so it just slots perfectly there you can see that will then go in and it protects it from heat from the bottom and uh, from the sides as well now the ones that I've seen on the internet only seem to protect it from the sides so this will also add additional uh, heat protectiveness if that's even a word so I'll fit it and I'll show you what it looks like once it's been fitted so so just so you can see what it looks like before I put it on, I've also attached a nut to the bottom of the bolt. I've obviously got a washer in there as well. And the nut is there basically just because there is going to be a gap, uh, as you can see, uh, for the bolt. So I need some pressure to be applied to the engine block to stop this bolt uh, coming loose. So that's what the nut is there for. And I'll just show you what that looks like once that's all put together. Right, and so here it is with it installed. As you can see, nice and tight, perfectly blocking all the heat coming through there to the cam sensor. And then you can nice and hide it away with your standard engine cover, like so. And you can't see anything. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. Feel free to like and subscribe, I'll be doing many more videos, I'll probably do one even about touching this up because I seem to have tried to clean it too hard and obviously scrubbed away the paint, so that's no good. This doesn't look very pretty inside this beautiful engine bay. So yeah, thanks guys, see you soon.